Hello guys. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, I decided to get my lazy eye surgery. It's actually called store business surgery. I don't get offended when people say lazy eye because I use the word. Anyways, I did a video talking about my lazy eye. I'm pretty open about it now and it's just so freeing to be very open about it. And ever since that video, I got a lot of people messaging me asking me if I ended up going through the surgery. Right now, I'm actually doing a technique to be honest so that it's not as... Um, noticeable and you kind of just learn those things it's kind of like someone that you know was born with something and they have to figure out a way around it <sighs> after a lot of thinking i did go to that second doctor i was going to go to in toronto he was really good completely different appointment you guys than what i experienced the first time because it was like i can fix something but like you might not like it and i'm just like my gut was like instantly a no tomorrow morning i go to get this thing done I'm very nervous. It's very hard for me not to get emotional. It gets me emotional because everyone has something that they go through, you know, and other people might not know that they go through. Um, a lot of people don't even know that I have this until I spoke about it. Some people recognize that I might have something. I called it an imperfection because of course it's not like my right eye, right? Some people say it's not a flaw, it's just something you were born with and it is. It's something that I was born with. It's what makes me Stephanie Macedo. It's it's a part of me. It's not a permanent fix. Um, it's a lazy eye. So what happens is it kind of has a mind of its own and it will do what it wants to eventually. But I've gotten it twice when I was a baby. And there's just such a stigma around people that have lazy eyes and it's just so disgusting. Like what people like say about them and I'm just like guys, I'm a person just like everybody else. The reason why I decided to fix it was mainly because of my job and what I do. You know, there's times where, you know, I do wish that they were both straight. When I'm taking, you know, a selfie, that's when it's hardest, or when I'm focusing on the lens of the camera. I've learned certain techniques, and the doctor was actually like, that's so crazy that you've, that you've done these techniques. I've never heard anybody say that. We all develop these things because we have to get used to it. So when I'm mainly focusing on the lens, I'll actually show you guys right now because I don't really care. So. You guys can see right now, I'm looking at the lens with my right eye straight and my left eye is probably drifting and I can see it right now. Most likely it's going inward, so that's what it does. Maybe it was much, much worse. And the surgeries have improved it, so that's the thing. Even with this being done, it's not 100% guarantee. And I'm okay with that, I've accepted that. It just made me feel really confident about his plan. And the way he was talking to me about it was very calmly, super confident, and it just makes you feel secure about that decision. If you guys have, you know, a lazy eye, your situation's not gonna be the same as mine, and he's not gonna do the same thing. I have to be up super, super early. I have to be there for 6.30 in Toronto, so Amy's gonna drive me there. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. You guys, I don't know if you guys ever watched that movie, but like, oh my god. I'm just nervous that they, like the anesthetic is not going to work or something. Like I'm super nervous. He's like, you don't sound like you're excited. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> and he's like, you should be excited. I'm like, no, because right now I'm in worry mode. And when I'm in worry mode, I shut down. Like, And I left there feeling like, okay, I can do this. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Amy actually gets to look at it with me. Like I will be perfectly awake and we'll get to see the results and see how everything is. And then he adjusts it or if we say, looks great. Then he stitches it up and the stitching up part you guys I'm gonna be awake for Yeah, it's great. It's just great. I'm cool with the tugging But I'm not cool with the feeling of the stitching No one in the right mind goes I want to feel you stitch my eyeball up like nobody does that I just want this to be over you guys I just want it to be over at this stage you kind of start to regret like you're like do I want to do this my heart is just like beating because like I'm a little bit scared you know like who isn't scared to go under the knife really it's just when I'm worried I'm a different person and I cannot see the end of it I just I can't like I just don't want it to be like excruciating he's like no it's gonna feel like a bruise like as if you bruised your arm so you have to like exercise it so the eyes like yeah i'm going along with this guy my neighbor i can't eat until i have the surgery done so i will see you tomorrow morning and hope that i'm still alive <laughs> all right guys it is 5 49 and i have to be at the hospital for 6 30. sis is driving me and as you can tell i'm very like i don't know i'm just kind of like shut down and numb right now Dude, there's like three hours before the surgery so i don't really know how this is gonna go we're just gonna kind of have to take it as it is. 
Um, haven't eaten anything like I told you guys last night from 12 a.m. until now and I still can't eat until after the surgery so, and I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I wake up I'm probably gonna feel like really out of it sleepy I heard that it affects everyone differently some yeah people don't, yeah I read that yesterday on Twitter that some people don't get like weird and then some people do so it just kind of depends I don't know, I have a feeling I'm just gonna be like very like Yeah, because when I got know? my wisdom teeth out, I was fine, I wasn't saying anything crazy But you ever seen those videos where people are, get their wisdom teeth out and they go I've, to I've seen it Fleet Street Yep, that's it, Susan <laughs> yeah. Still great that where I'm able to crack Fleet a joke Street? There you are um, and yeah, I'm gonna see what Amy can kind of catch for me while this is all getting done or after it's getting done Like drowsy, you said? Mm-hmm <laughs> So she said she's feeling drowsy. Do you want me to make the cloth colder? The ice was too much. Oh, yeah, he said you don't need, need to put the ice, just submerge it in the water. So cute. Hello, babes. This is a real life right here. This is day one after surgery. What this is is an iced uh, cloth. So behind me, I have this like entire little kit over here. The cotton pads are what clean up my eye because at this stage it during the night it was um, closing on me and I'm glad I expected that because I did some research before you know it's a little bit gross but you get like all the liquid from inside the eye I'm assuming trying to heal the eye and then it, it's like if you guys have ever had pink eye oh I didn't really sleep last night to be honest with you now I don't have the numbing drops in my eye and I'm actually surprised that they didn't give us numbing drops I have these drops that I have to do four times a day are an antibiotic to not infect the eye and that helps with the redness as well so I'll remove it so I can show you guys see right on the corner here because that's where he touched the most if I lower this down it's very very red too and my face is really bruised over here you guys yesterday Amy was like your face is huge nobody else like nobody else was reacting the way that I was reacting like the anesthetic oh my god you guys like nobody else was as drowsy as me and my dad was saying some people just handle it differently i was so out of it for the longest time that's why i didn't vlog yesterday i was like i can't i just as i was walking i was feeling very like tipsy almost guy was so funny the nurses by the way i have to say amazing like amazing i'm gonna bring them a box of nathas um queijo de nata because that's a Portuguese dessert, by the way. Sorry, I'm talking as if like all of you know what queijo are. It's so funny, my family doctor has mentioned them and then this one mentioned them and they're not Portuguese. And he's like, no nothage after 12 a.m. I was like, I don't even like nothage. I don't like nothage at all, it's not my thing. Um, but I'm gonna bring him a box and I have to go Monday to check, um, check with him. But overall, everything went okay. The anesthetic went okay, I don't remember any of that. So right now, I'm just kind of like icing it. This is what I look like right now today, you guys. Um, it's just tight. If I move it, it's just sore. He described it perfectly. It's like a bruise on your arm or something. I just have to rest up right now, and I will check up with you guys tomorrow. But he was very, very happy with everything, so I'm really glad about that. I have my water over here, so super important to stay hydrated. For those of you who are thinking of getting this kind of done, <clears throat> my throat is still very, very weird because of the breathing tube that they put when they put me down. It's just acting so weird. Um, and then inside is just ice water and then it has the, I wash my hands too, very important to always wash your hands because again, it's gonna go in your eye. Um, and then these cloths are just kind of folded inside of there. And another important tip that the doctor told me is to always have like double pillows while, while you're sleeping um, because it keeps you elevated and it will bring down the swelling. The first night I forgot to do this and last night I did it and I woke up a lot less swollen so it did work. Okay, so this is what I look like today. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat was very dry right now. This is how the eye looks today. Still very red on the corner and if I pull this down it's right over there too. Like very swollen on this side still. Yeah, by the way, I just finished washing. I washed my hair. I'm very, very out of it right now, you guys. Like I have very little energy. I've been taking the Tylenol too. It can also make a fever go down too. And this side of my face was so hot. I had such a bad night, you guys. No matter how much ice I put on top of it, it was just very, very hot. And you can just see like the eye just looks like it wants to close. The reason why it's very closed on the ends over there is because this is mostly where I was operated. I was barely operated on this side, so that's why it looks much better in the inner corner over there. Let me tell you, I did a ton of research. I watched plenty of people, specifically this one girl that got it done, 
and her experience was clearly very different than what I'm going through. So he had a bunch of surgeries throughout the day and I was the first one. The first thing he said was, each and every one of you got the same surgery done, but each and every one of you have a completely different scenario. I haven't taken another Tylenol 2 because if I do, guys, I'll just be, I'll just be gone. He said, the more you get this surgery done, the worse your body is going to take it. I don't know, that's just what he told me from day one. He's like, you've already had this done twice. Very scary for my parents, obviously. Like, you know, their little one-year-old got this operation done. I was so out of it. But the lady in front of me shocked the hell out of me. She had like more energy than a normal person that was not getting surgery. I don't know what, like, I don't know. I don't, maybe this is her first time. And so I'm the one that's supposed to be, you know, having like that, the most healing time because I was the one who went first, came out first. Guys, I was like the weakest out of all of them. She comes, she sits down, like 20 minutes after. Do you think I can get my, um, my iPhone from the locker? I look at Amy and I'm like, I'm half dying over here. Like what, am I missing something? And then 20 minutes after that, you think I can already like have a coffee? And I'm just like this, I'm like, so out of it. Anesthesi anesthesiologist, that's how you say it? Damn, if I could say that, I'm pretty sharp. I said my dad wakes up too early. It doesn't really work on him. So that was my fear, you guys. That was my biggest, biggest fear. So I think by telling him that, I think he gave me a little bit more. And Amy's like, you probably should have just kept your mouth shut. I'm like, I probably should have. As you guys know, no surgery is forever. If you get your chest done, that's not forever. You always hear how you have to get it retouched, redone. I really noticed it when I started doing YouTube and like my Instagram and fashion a lot more because obviously I'm taking photos. To the two month recovery time, this takes two months for you to see the results. It's also hard to see the results once your eye is so swollen like this and there's so much red. And by the way, I had my matcha today. I went out today. My mom took me for a drive. I just needed to get out. I'm not that relaxed, resting kind of girl. I hate taking breaks. I hate resting. If I look over here, like right now, it's a little bit sore. Oh, yeah, okay. And then if I look this way, it's a tad bit sore, but not nearly as much as this. When you move the eyeball around, you just feel like a pullback, like a little bit of a tightness. That's all it feels like. Last thing you want right now is shampoo or conditioner in your eyeball. I just like tilted my head backwards and I grabbed like the shower head and I was slowly going over it. I really didn't feel like vlogging this morning because I was in a little bit of pain, like a little bit of soreness because all night you can't ice your eye. The first day after surgery, that's gonna be the worst part you're gonna pass through. I see him tomorrow. He's gonna see how everything is and then I can actually tell you guys what he says, how he feels it is. The room looked just like a scene from Grey's Anatomy, you guys. First, Amy came to my mind because she loves Grey's Anatomy. And I was like, I have to tell Amy, I hope I remember. They make you feel super like comfortable right before everything happens. They're like, let's make her happy before we put her down. And I kind of just woke up randomly back in the first room that I ended up in. And yeah, and the anesthesia didn't do that weird thing where I was saying like a bunch of funky things, you guys. Like they called her back in, she came to sit next to me. It was so like, so good to see her because you know, you just went through something and you just want to see a familiar face and it's like almost emotional, but you can't, you know, you can't cry. I mean, yesterday I was very emotional because by the way, you guys, I'm going through like my PMDD right while this is happening, but I've been strong. Everything's been fine. So it's okay. You know, us women, we're so strong and we make it through so many different things. Around like three, four o'clock, he comes to check up on me and he's like, okay, we're ready to stitch you up now. They used like a metal clip to open up my eye only on the left and then they but they did put numbing drops on both of them Because they want both of them to react the same and that part you guys you cannot feel it Don't even be afraid of that part. That's like the least of your worries He also said you might feel a little bit of like an itching or something in your eye. That's just the stitch Unfortunately, the redness takes about six weeks to go away This is actually the first day that I can be without the icing on my face and like physically like look around and be comfortable enough to look around yesterday was way too soon to do that but today has not been that bad to be honest just a little bit of soreness and i hope that all these details are kind of helping you guys out yeah so i'm gonna see him tomorrow i'm really excited about that because i just kind of want to hear some feedback hear something good so i'm gonna rest right now and i will keep you guys updated tomorrow today is day day three my voice is still like the weirdest thing. I don't know. I'm gonna be wearing my glasses because that's extremely important, but um, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is my eye today. As you guys can see, it's mostly red on the outer side again, and then if I open it up, it's still red at the bottom. Saw the doctor today. He was very 
happy with everything telling me to like look side by side up and down and then I got like the biggest headache Oh my god, but I took Advil liquid gel. It works amazing for me. Um, last night I slept much better, I will say. My eye didn't really close. Again, I just recommend cleaning the eye before you go to bed and then in the morning and that kind of like takes down the whole like closing of the eye kind of happening. My face is back to normal, like with the swelling over here by my cheeks, thank god. But my eye, like my lid is still swollen obviously because the muscle. I brought him the nachos, you guys, and he was so, he's like, oh my god, I was not expecting this. You didn't have to do that and can I share that with everybody and I was like yeah share the whole box with everybody just wanted to do something nice for him because I really liked him asked me if I was having any double vision I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys but I'm not having any double vision he kind of gave me a um, 1% chance of me getting the double vision before but thank god I have not experienced any double vision because I don't think I can handle anything else it's been mainly challenging for me to like relax and kind of take it easy when I'm normally up and going and getting out and I don't feel normal as of yet going out, so I'm hoping by the end of the week I'll feel better. This was the first morning I woke up and I was like, okay, like I can, okay, I think this is this is pretty normal. This reminds me of my normal kind of mornings. Still, of course, a little bit like tender if I look placed side to side, but not nearly as uncomfortable. I can actually feel the eyeball going side to side now it's a little bit more loose a little tiny bit less tight and so i would say it takes about like those good three days i made my own vanilla iced coffee at home you guys can tell my like attitude today is a little bit more you know he said you don't have to do the icing anymore it's only to make you feel comfortable but let me tell you that cloth in that ice water gonna be your best friend honey it's <clears throat> i was watching a movie i watched precious and what a sad movie, but yeah, I guess I'm like running out of things to watch you guys. I think I've watched the entire like catalog of Netflix, I swear. And today's the day that I can actually take in what I've done and I am excited and happy about it. I'm like, just make, give yourself that room to accept that it might not be 100% even six months from now, a year from now. If it is, great. If it's not, that's just life and that's just nature and that's just our human body sometimes. And I'm just glad that I'm at a place where I'm comfortable enough with that going forward. And I'm just really proud of myself and like I don't want to get emotional because you cannot cry with this, you guys. I just, I'm too scared to cry with my eyes like this. Tomorrow is going to be an even better day. I will see my beautiful babes tomorrow. Guys, this has been my recovery pal over here. Say hi, mommy. See, I've been taking care of her. Oh, here we go. You got you gotta be careful guys when you have an Aries dog because they're just they'll attack you. Guys, today is day four after surgery. My eye for some reason just feels more closed today, but I feel more normal today than yesterday. Okay, Ben, we get it. We get it. Like we totally get it. Um uh, Ben. I'm the star of the show. So, day four, I'm waiting for my mom currently right now to, yeah, no, I'm, oh, yeah, 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 no, I'm okay, I, I'm good, yeah, I was like, hey, do you feel like going out, because I need to get out of this house, okay, okay, pause in the air, claws in the air, oh, right, yeah, no, no, we're not scratching the eye, okay, guys, I can't with this guy, like, can you guys, deal with him i can't he's been barking at like people dropping off packages like all day and he attacks people at the door he dies yeah good boy guys, I can't. so as you guys can see it's like really small compared to this one um i'll show you guys okay ben i am trying to show my babes my eye so that's how it looks today you guys it's a little bit like yellow inside because like the mucus and stuff i know it's gross such a beautiful word right mucus but anyways, it's like red inside still. Obviously, it's gonna like take a while. <laughs> guys, I can't believe this guy is in my frame right now. Bentley, please. I need you guys to see what he looks like right now. Guys, I have so many packages back there that I have to open up. It's not even funny. We're gonna go grab like a booster juice or something. I just need to like get out and feel like a normal human being. Because I can't be a hermit for like the longest time. I just can't do it. Actually, my voice, my throat is really good today. While I'm kind of off for a little bit, I'm going to update my website because I have a lot of work to do on there. 
and I just have to do a few voiceovers in my um, New York vlog and then I will have that up for you guys. It's probably going to be up, of course, by the time this is up. So make sure you guys go check out my New York vlog. It's like a birthday New York vlog. If you guys are kind of stumbling on this video and you're brand new to my channel, welcome. And if you want to subscribe, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And if you guys are my continuous babes, thank you guys so much for all of your support. All the love that you guys have been giving me on IG, wishing me a good recovery. Thank you guys so much. You're so super sweet. If you guys are follow me on ig it is at steph Mistero. i will put it right here for you guys i want my eyes to heal so i can like start wearing makeup and stuff i've been avoiding um facial creams and i've just been missing my skin routine so bad you guys tomorrow's gonna be day five it's almost gonna be a week so by friday that's gonna be day seven which is awesome thursday friday i'll try to drive see if i can go out with my friend um closer to the end of the week I have a ton of PR packages that I want to open, so I'm going to do like a PR unboxing. And you guys said you wanted to see that, so I'm going to be doing that. That's what it looks like, you guys. Super cute, right? Super cute. I'm doing well, and every single day it's getting better and better. So I will, I guess, see you guys tomorrow. This is my first time making a breakfast for myself. Um, today I really felt like kind of cooking for the first time since my surgery. It's going to be a what I eat in a day either on my channel or coming up. Hello babes, it is day six today. I didn't really vlog yesterday, day five. I showed you guys my breakfast obviously, but um, there was nothing really interesting and I kind of figured that day five would be almost the same as day six. And I think yesterday was like the day I felt super, like the most kind of back to normal. Today I feel even more and every day it just keeps getting more and more. As you guys can see, I'm driving. I'm about to go pick up my friend. Um, I told her like nothing crazy. I think like going to the mall is still a little bit too much for me. Cause, but yesterday I got to do a lot of work. So yeah, I don't think I really vlogged because I got super excited that I was like back to normal. I finished editing my New York vlog. That vlog is now up on my channel so make sure you guys go watch it. There's a red um, red light right now so I'll be able to stop and show you guys. That's how my eye looks today. It's still a little bit swollen. I just came back from breakfast with my dad. Every four hours I still have to do the drops, the antibiotic that has the cortisone inside of it and everything this week and then three times next week and then I stop after next week. I can't wait. I'm just gonna head to Starbucks. Um, I'm gonna get my drink of course. Tomorrow is gonna be a one week mark. I'll keep you guys posted tomorrow. I'm all cozied up right now. It is yeah, today's Friday. Yeah, Friday and it's about like 10 30 right now. So yesterday I had a blast with my friend. We actually had um, Afghan food. I went to Karava it was called. Super good. We had like spicy tandoori chicken. La 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 loved it. Like just loved it. I got a green tea latte but then after we ate we went back and guys I have a new drink. I have a new drink that I'm obsessed with. I'll probably bring it up in like my next vlog. I actually just made one right now at home and it's kind of similar to the cloud that they have now. I always get like the lowest calorie drink. I don't like to drink a bunch of sugar. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a video where I show you my low calorie like Starbucks kind of alternatives I make at home. And there's a lot going on around me and there's a lot of people and stuff like that. That tends to give me a little bit more of a headache too so um, Starbucks was kind of busy and it's just there's a lot of things going on. I was okay But like I could feel the strain on the eye while I was like talking to her and like seeing around everything that's going on I think it was just the combination of the computer being out I was out with my dad in the morning like for breakfast So I was out from like early morning and then I came back with her at like eight something nine something but guys at night ooh, I think I stayed out too late. I think I pushed myself too much when I went to bed and I got home, I was super tired and my eye was just exhausted. Woke up at like four something, five o'clock. Guys, I had a sharp pain. I kind of like freaked out a little bit. I'm like, okay, let's go downstairs, grab some ice. I did like my little ice little bucket thing. I was being stubborn. I'm the one that wants to push things as far as I can go. And something was telling me after we were done eating, like you should just go home after this, but I just kept going that's a lesson like you have to know your limit you have to listen to your body and I wasn't listening to my body and I was like let me like open the lamp check my eye make sure everything is normal my eye actually looked better it looked like it was less red a little bit less puffy and I was like okay it must have been you just being out took two out of the liquid gels and it was still hurting because obviously it takes time for the pills to start working like way worse pain than after the surgery 
So guys, if you are going to get this done, take your time. The Advil liquid gel started kicking in. Um, they were amazing, like amazing. I guess I fell asleep. I remember waking up and being like, oh my God, is the pain gonna be there? And my eye was shut, so it actually closed. I just cleaned it and washed it as I normally do and I opened it up and there was no pain. I was like, thank you. It is a lot less like, Red. Amy and Jessica came over for breakfast. But yeah, I did my nails, guys. I went to go do my nails. This is um, OPI. Love is in the bear. Um, and then I went to Toronto Premium Outlets with my mom. We just stopped at Michael Kors. We got there, and I was like, "Mom, I'm sorry we drove all the way over here, but um, I don't know if you want to look any at any other stores except Michael Kors, but." I'm ready to go home. Like, my eye is tired. You know me, I can't stop. Like, we, we, we don't stop, guys. We you can't just relax. And I'm like, why doesn't my eye hurt? In the car, I took two out of the liquid gels because my eye was starting to hurt. The key is when there's a lot of things going on, a lot of commotion, and there's lots of people, there's lots of noise, there's a lot of things to look at, a lot of visuals. That's when I notice like yesterday that's when i got that pain today when there was so much going on and being out all day this is day seven you guys day seven so i got my surgery last friday and this is friday completely different person from the first day as you guys can see if you guys like were white to the beginning i think i'm gonna end it here i feel like i'm at a point where i just have to like the swelling has to go away and the redness but like i said the redness is gonna take forever so for those of you who are thinking of getting this done do not only get one doctor's opinion a specialist in strabismus that's what i would say and the third one that i went to was the one that i picked number two i don't want to forget i already did oh my god i already did Everybody did. Stop. Your Dory memory is horrible. Be confident, to be honest with you, with your lazy eye because I will say, if you don't have any confidence with it, you're only going to make life harder for yourself. Like, if let's just say you hate it. Yeah, it's not perfect. You know, and if you don't fix it, it will never be perfect. And even if you fix it, it still might not be perfect. And that is the key that I really want to drill in because I'm okay if this thing doesn't end up perfect. I've done what I could. This is me and I truly believe that life ends up in your hands the way it's supposed to be. And or like it'll be better, but will it be 100%? I don't know. Yes, it's totally fine to want to do it for yourself and to make a change. That's why I did it, obviously. It is a part of you. It's not going anywhere. Even with this, it's going to expire eventually. And am I going to do it again? I don't know. And it's only going to make your life easier. It's only going to make you as a whole more confident. It's going to just make you more happier because you can't keep using it as this thing that pulls you down. And I get it. It's hard. People get bullied for something like this. And how I handled this situation, how I reacted to this situation can be different than you. It was just my overall, I wanted to share how I kind of went through this, what I went through, the healing day by day, how it was for a week. I feel like next week is going to be more of a breeze. I'm definitely glad that I did it. Super glad that I did it. I'm excited for my results but it looks really great from what I can see and he's super happy with it. You can't really see the results right now. It's not fair because my eye is like swollen. It's so funny when I look at the lens, I don't, before I felt a pulling feeling. Now when I focus, guys, I don't feel this uncomfortable feeling. It is so cool. It is so cool, so weird to even say and feel like when I'm looking at the lens, I'm not uncomfortable anymore. It is so crazy. And so if you're worried about pain, and Tylenol works for you, it will take it away. If Advil works for you, it will take it away. So don't worry about the pain, to be honest. My family has been extremely supportive, extremely caring, and just taking care of everything that I need. I hope this was very informative for all of you guys that are thinking of getting this done. For those of you who are just curious about my situation, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up on this video. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for all of my brand new videos you guys will get a notification so don't forget to follow me on ig at steph Jumaseto. thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next videos